Hello everyone, I'm GK and welcome to another Magic the Gathering Arena video and today Today we're gonna be playing a little bit of Grixis. One of my good good friends Asked me if I could play this and it is Grixis mid-range so the deck list is one fungal infection, one blink of an eye, two search for his kanta, three moment of craving, four thought erasure, three sinister sabotage, one plague crafter, two disinformation campaign, two bedevil, two chemister's insight, two ravenous chupacabra, three ritual of soot, four, or, I'm sorry, two vresses contempt, two nickel bolas, one karn, two doom whisper, two syncopate. And then for the lands, we got a lot, a lot of rare lands. We have three Dragon Skull Summit, one Blood Crypt, four Sulphur Falls, four Steam Vents, four Watery Grave, four Drowned Catacomb, and then we're rounding it off with four Swamp, one Islet. So we're going to try in the, the Ranked Ladder and see how it does. We're going to do five games. If there are any decks that you want me to play, let me know. You can either put them down in the comments or message me. I post a video every single day playing a different deck so if you want yours on here just like I said let me know so we're going first we have a pretty pretty spicy hand here I like this hand a lot so we'll have tapped watery grave turn two we can go syncopate and then we can hopefully start if we get our hopefully we get our fourth land which we should we can go chemistry's insight which so far that is a no-go Batman we're facing against 504 uh, Jesus. Alright, so we need a land, please. Um, okay. A part of me, we're facing the Guildgate deck. So they could go the Guild Summit on this turn. I want to get this search for his Kanta down. But I don't I don't know if we can. So we'll go we'll go this. If they get that summit down or whatever, the card that allows them to play extra or the draw card whenever they play a guild gate. I don't think we're going to be able to win this. We do draw the land, though. Thank goodness. I was a little this, I was a little scared there, to be honest. So, we'll go... We'll pass the turn. We can Chemister's Insight, or we can Sabotage, or we can Syncopate. The world is our oyster. We're playing against the slow deck, which is kind of good for us. We can gain incremental values. We have Chupacabra to take care of the Colossus. Alright, they're going Gatebreaker Ram. So... Let's go ahead and we'll, s or actually, I think we're just going to take the opportune moment to syncopate this. So, pay two. You know what? Pay the three. I don't care. You can pay that extra mana. The Gatebreaker Ram would definitely end up being a tidbit of a problem. Shoot. Okay, let's get, I guess we'll just, we'll pass the turn for now. Hopefully we can end step Chemister's Insight. I want to get one of these searches down. Search labor for a basic land or a gate. That is fine. That one resolves. We're a little bit behind, but it's not a big deal. We still have our counter spells. We have our draw spells. They find a gate. Imagine that. So, if hopefully we go to end step, because I would love to be able to draw some cards. Thank you. This deck usually doesn't have counter spells or anything like that. But that's another reason why I wanted to use the syncopate, just because... They start to get so many. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, okay. Hopefully a land. Thank you. So let's play. Let's play one of these search for his contas. And we will pass the turn. But yeah, because Syncopate would probably become dead before too long. Because they can cast free Colossus. Which that's going to be a pain in the butt as soon as they can start doing that. Yeah, I think you can have that guy. I'm really not too worried about the angel. We can we can let it hit us for a couple turns. So we'll keep that. Draw the swamp. And one, two, three, four. So we can't necessarily play our removal spell yet. Or we can't play like our choop or anything. But we can end step Chemister's Insight. Pitching this other search for his content. Because we don't really need that anymore. This is probably going to be a long video, so sit back, relax, strap on in, grab some popcorn, you know, eat, get some chocolate, whatever you're uh, in the mood for. That can't be countered. That's unfortunate. Um, so that resolves. That's okay, though. We can chemistry's insight. So I forgot about hydroid crisis. Unfortunate. 
So let's. I kind of want to. I kind of want to chemistry's insight. Try to draw some lands. We'll pitch this search for his Kanta. Draw a couple lands. We draw a thought erasure. So Nickel Nikki B. Nikki B sitting on top, all nice and pretty. Um Let's see. I think we'll go ahead. We'll keep him on top. So we'll go you. And do we want to go so we can go one, two, three, four for the choop. And then we can still have Sinister Sabotage up. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we'll play Chupacabra. Get rid of this Hydroid Crisis. They're up to 34. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so it's gonna be a little while before we can get this Doom Whisperer down, which is unfortunate, but I assume we'll be able to, uh, I, I will be able to take plenty of hits from this Arcway Angel before we actually have to worry about it. If they play a Colossus, I'll probably just go with the Veraska's Contempt so they can't get it back. Another Hydroid Crisis. Oh no. So, I kind of, hmm. Do I Sinister Sabotage this or do I just try to Veraska's Contempt it? Um, they're drawing so many cards, it's unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna let it go. We'll take the Steam Vents. And then... So Hydro Crisis is a 7-7. Seven, seven. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we can... So we'll play this tapped. We're going to Vraska's Contempt this. And we will go ahead and get in for 2. We have Sinister Sabotage for whatever they play on this next turn, and then we can Thought Erasure the turn after that. They're drawing so many cards, which is pretty unfortunate. The first Hydro Crisis was fine. The second one, bit, itty, teeny, weeny problem. Itty, bitty, teeny, weeny problem. Uh, Guildgate Summit. Shoot, uh, I kind of want to counter this. Yeah, let's let's counter it. They're gonna draw a ton more cards if that thing resolves. Uh, Moment of craving can be shipped. We need something good. We need something super duper good. Whether or not it's just finally casting these Doom Whispers, um, they have another Guild Summit. Maybe we just need to cast Nikki B next turn and then make them discard a card. We can block the Arcway Angel. They have a Gatebreaker Ram as well. Wow, that turn was extremely extremely good for them. So, Syncopate can go to the graveyard. What are we looking for? Definitely not that. So, we have six cards in the graveyard. T-U-F-F -F, Tough. This has Vigilance and Trample. Um, we are in a spot and a half, that's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> so, we could take one hit from this Gatebreaker Ram. So, do we just go... Do we go Nikki B? I think, yeah, we'll cast, we'll cast Nikki B. If they don't have another gate, we can deal 10 damage to this Gatebreaker Ram, which would be good for us. So we'll Thought Erasure. They have to discard a card. We'll cast Thought Erasure. We'll look at their hand. Take a, take a quick sneak peek. But we also could Ravenous, or we also can block the Gatebreaker Ram with the Ravenous Chupacabra. Um, Gates of Blaze, Mass Manipulation, that can, that can go. That card would have, that would have done us real good. So they have Gates of Blaze, which actually, I guess they just have this game, don't they? Shoot! Alright, good game. I think, well, we'll cast this. Because Gates of Blaze, it'll kill the Arch, or the Arcway Angel too, which will give us... It will give us a turn. We'll go to one, because that's not a gate. So we need something good. We need something super spicy off the top to deal with this ram. No! A gate colossus as well. Dang it. Okay, so we're going to be digging. Um, sulfur, that can go to the graveyard. We will transform, search for his content, and we get a drown catacomb. I am not even sure what we can get, to be honest. We can activate this. 
And we got nothing. Shoot! Good game. Alright. Oh and one. Ah, that gate Colossus. Oh uh, obviously the Gatebreaker Ram was a problem in itself, but we could have we could have gotten a ritual soot. And then as soon as we got the search for his contest going, I feel like we could have won that match. But them resolving two uh, Hydroid Crisis back-to-back uh, -back turns, that's what really, really put the nail in the coffin. So, oh, we're 0-1. Oh we'll get the next one. Opponent goes first. We're behind. Um, this is kind of a slow hand, but we have Ritual Soot. So, as long as they're not super-duper aggressive, which, of course, we're going to be playing the red deck. We also have Varaska's Contempt, which is going to help out a little bit. We can cast Thought Erasure on turn two. Hopefully we draw a land. Okay, we're actually playing against blue-red spells, which is a, it's a little bit better for us. So we're going to go ahead and drop down this Search for Iskanta. We have to hit our third land. I would have liked a Thought Erasure this turn, but I really, really want to make sure we hit that third land. Um, or in just like tick obviously the uh, thought erasure would have helped us hit the third land too But we need to hit the fourth and the fifth and we got we got a lot of lands to go ritual of soot's gonna be good in this matchup There's a lot of creatures that I would like to kill Okay land, please that is a land so we'll keep it on top We'll play the drowned catacomb and then I think we're just gonna keep up sinister sabotage. We'll play it We'll play it safe We'll play it safe, and then we can go Thought Erasure potentially next turn. And then we'll also have, uh, we'll have Varaska's Contempt. So let's, they could have Spell Pierce, but that's okay. If they have Spell Pierce, we have a way to deal with it. We get to Scry. We'll keep that on top. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we'll take you. And then, do we want to go Thought Erasure? And try to take something from their hand. We have Varaska's Contempt as well. I think I like that. We'll go Thought Erasure. Takes some goodies from their hand. They have... They have Crackling Drake. Dive Down really doesn't do a whole much against Ritual of Soot. Which is really nice. So I think we'll just take this Crackling Drake. Fungal Infection. Uh, you can just go to the bottom. I don't think we need you. And then we're going to go ahead and cast... We're going to cast this other one as well. We're just going to make your hand kind of dead for a while. Another Thought Erasure. Um, I don't think we need that one. We'll we'll bin that. We have Disinformation Campaign to make them discard that Shock for next turn. I assume that's what they'll discard. If they didn't draw a creature, that's very, very good for us. Um, I wish I could see how many cards I had in the graveyard. But we just kind of want to keep hitting our land drop. So we'll keep it on top. We have goodies. So we'll cast Disinformation Campaign. We can get around Spell Pierce, too, if they happen to draw that. So you'll discard a card. We draw Bedevil, which is not a bad card. They actually got rid of Dive Down, which is kind of interesting. I don't know what Shock does versus a control deck. But we got there. We got there. We're, we're one and one. We were just too strong. But to be fair, Search for his Kanto is going to flip in the near future. We had all spells so like i don't i don't necessarily think that we were gonna lose that matchup anyways so all right we're playing against amins and um, amens amins this isn't this isn't a terrible hand it's a little on the slow side we're facing against a red deck where we might just get run over which we're not so that's good that's a good good start nope we're actually playing against the mono blue deck tilt Hill. Okay, so Ender's tapped. Alright, see so, yep, we'll play that one tapped. Um, if they have turn two curious obsession, which they always do. I never play against this deck and they not have turn two curious. There we go. It's I think probably every time. I don't know if I've ever played this deck where it doesn't have turn two curious. They're just too good. They're too strong. So search for his Kanta. Um, I want to cast it. I don't know if this syncopate is actually going to do anything for a little while. Um, I guess we could cast it just in case. In case they want to tap out for something, but we're definitely behind. I suppose search for his counter, there's nothing that we really want to look for at the moment. So we'll keep up the syncopate. We got to get this thing off the table, that's for sure. We can go end step bedevil 
uh, untap, play Ravenous Chupacabra, get it off the table, hopefully. Siren Storm Tamer resolves. It's my turn. You're missing your land drop. Um, let's play the Dragon Skull Summit. And we shall pass the turn. If they do an opt at end step to look for a land, we'll bedevil the Mist Cloaked. But they're smarter than that. They are a smart cookie with the chocolate chips. So they're going to attack in. I think I'm going to end step bedevil. They'll get to draw a card after this, but I want them to tap out. They've already played their land, so if I can get them to tap out... Alright, that one resolves. That resolves. Uh, okay, so... Shoot, this isn't going to resolve, unfortunately. But we'll go ahead and attempt at it. Siren Storm Tamer will be sacrificed. Or if they have Dive Down, that's even worse for us. They do have Dive Down. Shoot. Alright, Ritual of Soot. Right off the top. Ritual of Soot. Ritual of Soot. Thoughts? 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 No! Oh, dang it. Okay. We can... So they have the Siren Storm Tamer. What do we want to do this turn? We can go... We can go blink of an eye. Uh, that will get countered. As, so we'll go ahead and play our swamp. And then we'll leave up the syncopate. That's unfortunate. I don't know. Maybe I should blink on my turn and if they go for another dive down blink it. But just imagine ritual of that turn. It would have been so, so spicy. So, so spicy. Another curious obsession. Ugh, unfortunate. Um, yep, that one resolves. They're gonna be drawn so more, so many cards. We still can have that ritual of set come off the top. I'm okay with that. Um, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and try to blink. Just a regular blink. Uh, yeah, we'll just regular blink, and then we can keep up syncopate still. They'll probably play around the syncopate, but Siren Storm Tamer will be sacrificed. That means they don't have any more dive downs as of yet, though. So hopefully our Chupacabra ends up taking care of this miscloaked. How many instants and sorceries do they have? Just one? Okay. Nothing nothing super duper crucial. So this guy's not going to get 4-1-1 one, one counters for at least a little while. Land, play your, your Jin. Your Jin card, please. That one resolves. That one resolves. Alright. I I need you to resolve, Choop. Um, so we'll go for the Choop. Go for the Choop. They probably just drew the dive down too. Get rid of you. No. Okay, they're opting. That that works for me. I always hate that. They're just like in response, do this. It's just like no, don't. And then it never turns out to be the spell. But that curious obsession. The, the both of them got him so much value. But if we can still draw a Ritual of Soot. That would be best, best case scenario. We have two cards in the... Oh my god, a third Curious Obsession. Our opponent is just strictly better than we are. It's okay though, it happens. So they draw one card. We have the Veraska's Contempt. This mono blue deck is just so... It's like so pestering and so annoying. Alright, of course, Siren Storm Tamer. Let's get that Ritual of Soot. It just doesn't like me, I guess. Um, so let's go... We'll go Dragon Skull Summit, and we'll play this Search for Ascanta. So we're going to be taking two, three, four points of damage. And we shall... I guess we're going to go in Vraska's Contempt now. The Siren Storm Tamer, just so they don't have any more potential to draw like a dive down or anything like that. But we're looking, we're looking pretty behind on this matchup. We need Ritual of Soot. Get in there with the shoot. It can't block anything anyways. But Ritual of Soot. Ritual of Soot. Are we just dead? Oh, we're just dead. I didn't even think about that. Oh, no. <laughs> Where are the Ritual of Soots? So we're one and two. All right, let's go in for game four. Shoot. All right, let's be on the play. We'll have Syncopate on turn two. We need that one of Fungal Infection. There's one Fungal Infection in the deck. This hand is pretty good. 
I like this hand a lot. We can go turn two moment, turn three disinformation campaign. Uh, so yeah, we'll go, we'll go turn one ground can come. Turn two island, then play the sulfur falls. We're playing against a red deck too. So let's go ahead and we'll get this out of here. That can go. That can, it can get out of here. We don't want it. It doesn't need to be present. Oh, our opponent doesn't. Oh, there's that fungal infection. It knew. It knew. So we'll play. We'll play the Sulfur Falls. And then let's go to this information campaign. We'll draw a card. We have nothing else to do. The red deck's not playing anything, which is kind of weird. But then if we can start getting our surveil on, we can get some value out of this disinformation campaign. Unfortunately, we can't go Nickel Bolas next turn. Or now we can. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, their hand is just all full of gas. All full of gas. Get rid of the shock. Alright, we're going to play Nikki B. So, we shall play the Schwab. And we're going to cast Nikki B. We're gonna make you discard another card. You now have to deal with this 4-4 that cannot block oh so many things. Yeah, discard that card. Oh, look at that fire breathing dragon. Wow, they discarded a shock, but they had the extra mountain. So I assume their hand is all gas and they just drew that mountain. That is that is my thought process. Rekindling Phoenix. So a Doom Whisper is not a bad draw. Do we just wanna play the Doom Whisper? Um because we could either go Doom Whisper plus Chemister's Insight. Um, or, I'm sorry, we can go Fungal Infection plus Chemister's Insight. Or we can just cast Doom Whisper. Um, I think I think we're just going to cast Doom Whisper. And then next turn we can attack. And we'll have the Fungal Infection up as well. So, let's go you. And we can, we can actually return this Disinformation campaign now too. I don't want to get rid of my Nickel Bolas. I want to keep him around. I want to keep him around. Do they have double lightning strike? Wow. Interesting. Maybe our opponent just didn't have the removal spell in hand to attack through. But I'm actually quite... I don't know. That, that might have been too premature scoopage. But... I'm not complaining. We're 2-2 two and two going in for, for uh, game 5. Our opponent goes first. This... Actually, is a really good hand. Um, we have we have Thought Erasure turn two. If they're playing the red deck, we have Fungal Infection. We have a big payoff. We have Sinister Sabotage. So yeah, I like this hand a lot. Hopefully, we're not playing against the Gate deck. So we're just gonna get rid of this Elf. So play you, play you, and get out of here. Boop. Fungal Infection confirmed. Op. It is confirmed OP. Another damage. Alright, we're Merfolk Branchwalker. Get a land. Get a land so we can block it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Okay. Let's play the Sulphur Falls and we're just going to play the Thought Erasure. Going to play. So they have Shalai Ixalan's Binding. So, hmm. Um, I want this Hydroid Crisis to be gone after a little while. This... Ixalan's Binding doesn't really worry me too much. So I think we're going to take the... So I guess we actually have Sinister Sabotage for the Shalai. So maybe we just take the Hydroid Crisis. Then go Elf next turn. So let's... Yeah, let's just take the... Uh... Let's take Hydroid Crisis. And we'll keep that on top. Perfect. We can trade off this sapling with this Merfolk Branchwalker, which is good for us. We can counter the Shalai. They have a fresh card in hand. And it has an elf. Another elf. So we know the two cards in hand. Perfect. So let's play... Do we just want a Sinister Sab... Or do we just want a Thought Erasure and get rid of that Shalai now? And keep the, uh... Keep the Sinister Sabotage for something some other time? I think we do. So we'll cast you... Target you, get rid of this Shalai. Blood Crypts can, so we have three and four. I guess that can just stay on top. And then we'll play this Watery Grave Tapped. With no attackers. 
So we'll want to get rid of this Ixalan's Binding at some point. Hopefully they didn't draw anything good. Yeah, boy. Okay. So we'll play the Blood Crypt Tapped. And then we have we have either a Bedeevil or we have Sinister Sabotage to uh, do whatever. And this one little sapling that killed an elf is holding them back. All right, my turn. Ooh, that's a good draw. That's a really, really good draw. Now, no matter what, we have something to do. So end step, we can either... So let's go ahead and... Do we want to counter this? A part of me doesn't want to... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We'll just go ahead and use it. Make it so they can't set up. Um, Dragon Skull Summit can go to the bin. So we got rid of a land, which is perfect. And we end up drawing a steam vent. So we'll play the steam vents tapped. And then we will, we'll just pass the turn. They still have that Ixalan's Binding, so we don't want to cast our Doom Whisper. We have Chemister's Insight to draw next turn. Opponent is drawing Lans, which is good for us. Although, if they draw a Hydroid Crisis, that's not good for us. Search for his Kanta. Perfect. Let's play that. Maybe we can bait out this uh, Ixalan's Binding. Bait out the Ixalan's Binding, get rid of the Search for his Kanta. Then we can go Doom Whisper. Shalai. No. Most certainly not. That does not resolve. Steam vents can go to the bin. And now this search will hopefully just take us home. So, graveyard that. We shall transform. And we get a ritual of soot. Do we just want to cast this? Uh, actually, I guess, no, there's not really any reason to cast it. We can... We have... Yeah, let's just pass the turn. There's no reason to cast it. They don't have any power on board they can't attack through we have uh as tech or as kanta the sunken ruin baffling end you're going to exile my token i love it sure that resolves i will allow you to uh to get my one itty bitty token so let's so let them attack first let's go oh my god our opponent just that's okay. We had search for his content. We had so many cards in hand. The deck went three and two. That felt really good. Um, but yeah, back to the deck. And three and two, I like it. We had full control on that game too. Like there was no, there was no way they were coming back from that. We had, we had the Ascanta that was already flipped. We had Ritual of Soot to get rid of their board. We had Bede Bedevil to kill the, uh, like the Shalai or anything like that. But yeah, I liked it. The fungal infection, I love the the fungal infection. The one time we got to use it, it felt so so good. Killed the elf, and then that itty bitty little sapling token got to block indefinitely for the most part, and then it got baffling ended. Like how and how frustrating that has to be to be the opponent, and you're just like, I guess I just have to baffling end this freaking Lanamore elf. So yeah, I like it. Blink of an eye. It was. Like, it was fine. Like, it's not an uh, exceptional card, but, like, it, it it attempted to do its part. Uh, Search for Ascanta is just... I love Search for Ascanta. Three Moment of Cravings. I love those, especially on Arena with all the mono red. Thought Erasure felt amazing. Sinister Sabotage felt amazing. Didn't get the Plague Crafter, but I assume, like, it's really good for Carnage Tyrants and whatnot. But the Disinformation Campaign was amazing. Bedevil, um, I, I love this card. We didn't get to play it at all, but I... I think we maybe played it once, but I do love this card. Chemister's Insight, amazing. I, I would, I, I wish there could be four in the deck, to be honest. Um, two Ravenous Chupacabra. The Chups, the Chups are good. I like it. Like, it doesn't really work with the Search for his Contas and stuff like that, but I assume it comes in handy a lot with Wild Growth Walkers. Ritual of Soot, if only, if only. I'm still so tilted that we did not get Ritual of Soot in that one opportune moment. Obviously, it's a... It, it was a three of and like 40 card deck, but you know, Vraska's Contempt, amazing. Nickel Bolas, Nikki B, if only we got to flip. That card is so good though. And then Karn we never got to cast, but that's okay. Karn is busted and Doom Whisper, it made someone, it made someone concede. So other than that though, yeah, I liked the deck a lot. It was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed the content, please hit that like button. I would super duper appreciate it. If you want to see further content, hit that subscribe button. But that is all for me. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.